Welcome to this video lecture. This is Mark Scythian, FAA licensed aerospace technician, airframe, power plant, and avionics certified. The date today is July 1st, 2016. This video lecture will focus on how to accurately calculate the true power output of any type of piston engine mathematically based off engine specifications data. As you've seen in some of my other videos in my YouTube uh, channel, uh, you first have to start with calculating the brake mean effective pressure in pounds per square inch exerted on the piston during every power stroke. So if you're dealing with a four stroke gasoline or diesel piston engine, you can use this formula here to make that calculation mathematically. And if you're dealing with a two stroke gasoline or diesel piston engine you can use this formula down here and the only difference is the pressure coefficient is one half what it is on the four stroke piston engine in the two stroke piston engine as you can see here so if you have to uh, start with liters displacement of the piston engine you have to convert that to cc's first then you got to convert the cc's, which is the cubic centimeters, to cubic inches. So you take the cc's times 0 0.061, you multiply them out, and that will convert the cc's into cubic inches and allow you to calculate the cubic inch displacement of the engine. Uh, you need the foot-pounds torque rating stamped on the engine uh, at a given RPM. That's called the torque curve any RPM greater than or less than that RPM, the foot-pounds torque will drop the twisting moment at the crankshaft. So you just take the ratio between the foot-pounds torque and the cubic inch displacement, and then if it's any type of four-stroke engine, you multiply that times 150.8 to get the BMEP in pounds per square inch. And if it's any type of two-stroke piston engine, uh, you do the same thing except you multiply it times half the pressure coefficient of the four stroke and the two stroke it would be 75.4 once you get the BMEP uh, you can calculate the brake horsepower by first entering in the BMEP in pounds per square inch multiply times the piston stroke length in feet you gotta take the inches piston stroke and divide it by 12 then use the formula for the area of a circle, pi r squared, to calculate the piston head surface area in square inches. That would be the bore diameter in inches divided by 2 squared, so you get radius squared, then multiply it times 3.14 or pi. That will convert the bore diameter into surface area of the piston head in square inches. Then you multiply these three times the number of power strokes per minute. On a four stroke piston engine, there's two revolutions of the crankshaft per every power stroke. So whatever the maximum torque rating RPM is, you divide that by two to get the number of power strokes per minute on a four stroke piston engine. If it's a two stroke piston engine, you take the maximum foot pounds torque rating RPM and you use that RPM because there's one revolution of the crankshaft per power stroke in a two-stroke piston engine, so the RPM is equal to the number of power strokes per minute. Then you take those four values and you multiply it times the number of cylinders, and these five values, you then divide it into 33,000 foot-pounds per minute, which is the number of foot-pounds per one minute, which equal one horsepower. And this will, act, this will allow you to get the maximum usable horsepower output at the rate of torque curve RPM. In terms of the efficiency, this is kind of important because uh, that's the ratio of the amount of usable power output divided into the amount of power delivered into the engine in the form of burning fuel. So the trick is, is to convert the thermal energy released by the fuel into its mechanical power equivalent. So you can use this ratio here, one BTU 
per minute heat output. That means one BTU of heat released over a minute in the form of burning fuel is equal to 17.6 watts of power mechanically. And of course, 746 watts of power is equal to one horsepower, which is also equal to 550 foot-pounds per second. If you multiply 550 foot-pounds per second times 60 seconds, you get 33,000 foot-pounds per minute. And this is the fractional reference equivalent to use when dealing with RPM revolutions per minute. So the uh, gasoline heat energy content is 20,000 BTU per pound. Fuel density, 6 pounds per 1 US gallon. And diesel is 19,300 BTU per pound at 7.1 pounds per US gallon fuel density. So you basically you should measure the fuel economy or the pounds per minute fuel consumption and that then from that point on you can uh, figure out the thermal efficiency. Rule of thumb on a gasoline piston engine you're getting about 33 percent thermal efficiency under no load operation and then you might subtract another uh, eight percent to run the application like move the car or operate the chainsaw or whatever so it's about 25 percent thermal efficiency under use for the gasoline piston engine and the diesel since it's heat of air compression and you have higher compression ratio and uh, more BMEP during the power stroke the no load thermal efficiency is about 38 percent and uh, usage can be uh, approximately 27 to 30 32 percent thermal efficiency but it's good to always take uh, experimental readings of PPM and then make the calculation. There are other alternative fuels that operate piston engines. I'll cover their dynamics in another video lecture, uh, such as uh, liquid propane, how that works, the uh, limitations, pros and cons of using LP uh, on another video lecture. But this is the quick way to calculate the true power output of any piston engine if you use this methodology. Lastly, the horsepower that they stamp on the engine, if it's just HP, that is not the actual power you get to use because HP refers to indicated horsepower, which is the total power involved in the entire engine, including the power lost to keep the engine running plus the usable power that remains at the crankshaft at a certain RPM. It's the brake horsepower you want to focus on, the BHP, and if it's not listed then you have to start with a foot-pounds torque at given RPM torque curve rating. You have to really use the torque and then go from there to figure out the BMEP and the BHP. So the brake horsepower, if it's not listed, then the engine manufacturer is not really telling you the true horsepower output that you get to use. And of course the friction horsepower, that's the power lost to keep the engine running at a certain RPM. And the brake horsepower is the usable horsepower that is available at the crankshaft at a certain RPM. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.